Hello, hola, bienvenidos. As you guys can see from the title today, I'm actually doing a review. And I felt and I was impelled to do this review because I feel like this brand is very underrated and it is so good, you guys. So good. I just ruined my review, but I don't care because I need to talk to you guys about this brand. I just love them. So as you guys can see for the title today, I am talking about the new collection from What's Up Beauty. This is a new brand. This has only been around for about a year or so. This is their second launch that they've ever done and they just keep getting better and better every time. So if this is something you are interested in listening, seeing swatches and hearing about, stay tuned. But first, if you're new, welcome. Alejandra, I go by Alex. I am an eyeshadow enthusiast with a dash project pan. If you want to continue to see that, see this on your feed, subscribe and join us. And now let's get on with this review. Okay, you guys, so as I mentioned, this is the brand What's Up Beauty. They've only been around for about a year. They are based out of Arizona, if I remember correctly. And it does show with their collections, that whole entire desert, um, Western kind of thing. I love it. This is their second launch they've ever done. And let me point that out because I do want to say that I think I love this brand even more because it, they give me time to enjoy their launches. They're not releasing things like crazy. And you guys know that my top seven brands that I love to look at releases and things, they don't release every month, every other month. They take their time with their releases and this brand does it as well. And it shows with their quality of product. And I'm saying product because they have, with their launches, they do not just an eyeshadow palette, but they have other collections with it. So in their last launch, they did a palette eyeshadow brushes and nail polishes and I love them till this day I still use them I love that palette so much you guys that I used it for my birthday last year that says a lot because I have so many palettes that I compete with that I genuinely love their formula and this time around they have launched their second palette with another set of nail polishes so i'm going to share that all with you guys today i'm going to start out with the nail polishes so they came out with six new shades i have all six here you guys these retail for 12.75 a piece but you can get them as a bundle for 15 percent off i believe it's like 66 dollars and change oh my goodness you guys I not only do I love the color collection that she comes out with, but the formula is so good. I am wearing one of the polishes today. I this is only I've only tried two polishes because the formula is so good it doesn't chip on me. I am somebody who's always washing dishes, washing butts, washing bathrooms, washing floors. I'm constantly having my hands doing something for my kids that my nail polish typically does not last more than a few days. You guys. These have lasted me a very, very long time. Now this is about my third day wearing this one and I have washed dishes. I actually just washed dishes about an hour ago. I've washed my hair, I have scrubbed bathrooms and not, not always do I wear gloves and I didn't wear gloves today you guys and they're still going strong. So I wanna share with you guys first, just the polish uh, brush because that, I think that does make a difference when it comes to polishes. This is what their brush polish are, their actual brush looks like. It's a fanned out brush and it is wider. So it, it picks up like it takes up more space on your nails so you don't have to keep going over it. The formula of these are so beautiful. I only have to go two passes if I want, one pass for it to be sheer if I want it on top of a nail polish with certain one of these, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous formula. It doesn't chip on me right away. It lasts a very long time. I don't feel like I need to go over it over and over, especially the ones that with the first pass, they look sheer, but when you build it up with a second one, it looks this opaque. So some of these you can use as toppers. So in this specific collection, it's called the Geo Collection. I should have said that from the beginning. It's called the Geo Collection. And basically they took inspiration from the canyons, from like caves, caverns, where you see that kind of like those crystals that appear with those uh, vines through them. It's really, really beautiful collection. And their nail polishes are polishes that are kind of like your birthstones in a way because that's where your gems come from the earth so i want to share with you guys the one i'm currently wearing this is called a uh, peridot 
one of my favorites, one of my favorites. This one shifts from a green to like a purple gold blue. It's really, really pretty. Obviously the camera's not gonna catch it, but this one is gorgeous. The second one that I have personally tried on is called a gate. Yes, a gate. This one is a purple gold burgundy shift. It's really, really, really pretty. Those are the two that I've tried so far. This one I've seen on other people's nail crystal. You could see that it has like that purple pink with like blue sparkle to it. It is gorgeous. This is the one I'm going to try on next. Earth shine. This is, this reminds me of like a blue brown pigment. It's really pretty. It has red uh, brown, blue in it. It's really, really gorgeous. I've seen it on somebody's nail on Instagram. And then they came out with two solid shades. One of them called clay. And this one is called Ronadite, I believe. Ronadite and clay. So it's like a pink and then this beautiful green that I have held off till the end, you guys, because I love this shade. Love this shade so, so much. So this collection, again, you can get it individually or you can get them um, as a set. I love this formula. I've gone on their website. They have many, many more polishes that they don't send out in PR or that you could purchase on your own. My goodness, they have some where you can use them as like they're specifically nail polish for stampers. They have stamp collections. They have top nails, which she did send me a top coat. I have been trying it. I'm just giving it a little bit longer to see how my thoughts are on it. I didn't tell her and she just so happened to throw it in. So I'm like, yes, I get to try a new one. I'm pretty sure that'll be my one that I'll be purchasing. But you guys, she has many more polishes polishes on her website. I'm actually interested in a few. I saw them on there and I'm like, oh my goodness, they are stunning. She has amazing, amazing nail polishes. And that's just the polishes, you guys. Her brushes are also awesome. Love her brushes. One of my favorites. I have a specific cup full of my favorite eyeshadow brushes and they're always in there. So when it comes to polishes, you guys, I think they do a great, great, great job. I recommend it 100%. I love the formula. I love the brush. I love the longevity of it. I love how easily they put on. And the best part is, you guys, these polishes are formulated without all the harsh chemicals, all the nastiness that you normally would find in a typical polish at your regular store. These are made with specific ingredients to be more natural and more healthy for us. So I feel safe putting this on my kids, especially my youngest one who loves to like by her nails and stuff. So I, I feel very, very comfortable putting these on her. So that's the other thing I wanted to, I did want to point out that the polishes are a great formula. It's a, a, a very nice alternative. And the best part is you guys, uh, I know I'm blabbing on, but I've always, I have brands where they're all natural polishes and I don't like the form. It's very watery, very thin. I have to go over it and it doesn't last as long. This is not it. I promise you guys, this formula is awesome. I really, really do it. She nailed it. Nailed it. I love the first collection. I love the second collection even more. Okay. So let's move on to the eyeshadow palette. You guys, I think I love this collection, like this palette more than the first one. I love the first one, the monsoon uh, palette. I love that one. This one, I think I love even more you guys. So this is what the palette looks like. And this is what the collection is all about. I will have up close of the polishes of this, so don't worry. But this is what it's called. This is the Geodes palette. Oh my goodness. This is made in Italy, assembled in the USA. It is talc free and cruelty free, just so you guys know. So as you open it up, you guys, first of all, this is not that big. This is not that big. You can travel with this if you care to travel with it. It's not going to take a lot of space in your collection, which I appreciate. It's less packaging, less bulky. The packaging is beautiful. It's a raised, like I can feel the print of the crystal going through it. It's really, really pretty. It has a very, very strong magnet to it too. So it's not one of those where it's going to loosen or if it gets caught on something, it's going to open up. It's really, really good. And it comes with a mirror, so you can have the mirror there. And here is what the shadows look like, you guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness, you guys. I have fallen head over heels for this palette. It is stunning. So this palette is $41. You're getting 12 shades. Five of them are mattes, five are duochromes, and two are iridescent shades. So you're getting a variety of texture in here and it just is stunning. I'm wearing this on my eyes today. I have four shades on my eyes today and I just 
adore this palette so much. I have used every single one of these shadows on my eyes. Every single one. Not one of these have I not used and not one do I dislike at all. All of them are stunning. The mattes. The mattes to me, when I touch them or even when they go on my eyes with a brush, they feel like a flower petal. Have you ever touched a flower petal and it feels soft and silky, but it's delicate where you don't want to press down too hard on it because you'll ruin it with the oils of your fingers? Like that's how I feel. If you were to touch these mattes, they feel like that. They feel like that silkiness, softness. You do not have to dig your finger in these shadows. You, It's unnecessary. You glide over all of these and you're getting enough full pigment to do your eye look. Oh my goodness, these are beautiful. So the five duochromes in here, so you guys know, are Crystal, which is right here. This is the one that I have in my inner corner right now, where it shifts from like a pink, I, it's hard to see it on camera, but it shifts from like a pink to a lavender. It's just so pretty and it has like gold running through it. It's so, so beautiful, you guys. The next one that it is, um, the other one that is, a duochrome is this one called amethyst which is like a purple a purple to a darker purple like a lighter purple to a darker purple then we have um this one peridot this greenish gold it's very similar to the nail polish where it has green gold to it a little bit of like a different shifting in it it's hard to see in the pan but it is on the eyes it's beautiful the other one that is um, is a gate, which is down here, just like the nail polish. It's like a orangey pink shift. It's really, really pretty. The first one I put on my eyes and I had to, cause that's definitely my, one of my favorite like dual chrome shifts. And then the other one is earth, earth like this one. I put over this green shade. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. This one has your blue, your green, your burgundy type of shift in here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is so pretty. The two iridescent you're getting is Rose Quartz, which is right over here. And you're getting Citrine, which is right over here. So those two are more of like the opaque type of metallic. The ones that are the duochromes can be, are sheer, but they are buildable. So they could be toppers or they can stand alone. Like today I have them standing alone, but I have also used them as toppers on these mats. And obviously you can clearly see where the mats are. The beauty of this is that you're getting depth, but you're not getting stuck to one depth. You're getting this green, which is what I have on my outer V today. You're also getting this brown out here in Terra. This yellow shade is beautiful. Again, you can put this all over the lid in the crease, and then you're having a rosy type of um, mauve shade, like a light rosy shade, and then your typical cool tone brown over here with a hint, a hint of pink, but not too much. And that's what I have on my crease today. It is beautiful, you guys. I don't have any complaints about this one. How I've used it is with my fingers and with brushes, and it works both ways. I've mentioned already that you gotta be soft with these. If you dig your finger in these and then put them on your eyes, you are gonna get fallout. I did find that. If you graze your finger over them gently and then start to put them on your eyes, you're not gonna get any fallout at all. Like I did not get any fallout at all using that technique. I just would gently graze over it and I would look to see if I have any excess on my finger, blow it off if I felt that I did and then go ahead and work on it on my eyes. It works fine with a flat shader brush. These work perfectly fine if you wet them. Obviously the duochrome shifty ones will be more opaque if you wet them. If you put them like a sheer, like I'm just gonna, I have to, see? It's like sheer. So you can use it as a topper. You can use these as an inner corner. These are just so beautiful, you guys. And the sparkle, my arms are gonna be all sparkled up when I swatch this for you guys. It's beautiful. I am just so bummed that I don't hear about this brand more often. There are other indie brands that I feel like this formula blows them right out of the water. I'm not gonna say who, 
but it blows a lot of them out of the water and this is just so, so, so good. The formula is so easy to use. It's blendable. You can apply it softly and it gives you a soft look or you can apply them intensely and they still work fine. They're buildable so you're not getting intensity right off the bat, but you're getting enough pigment where you're not having to dip constantly or it's looking patchy. I've never had a problem once with them looking patchy. I've never had a problem with them skipping or uh, showing bald spots on my eyes where you know you get like those skid marks on your eyes. No, you guys. Anything and every look that I've done with this palette has been beautiful and gorgeous. I love, love, love this. So what I have on my eyes so you guys know, I started out with rock on my crease. I went in with clay, which is just like the polish, on the outer V, then I went in with amethyst on the center outer part. And then for the inner part, I went in with crystal. And this is the look that I came out with. And you guys can see, can you see from the different eyes? This one looks more purple. This one looks more shifty blue. I love this palette, you guys. I love it. I had to do a video all on its own with this whole entire collection because I feel like I don't see it raved about enough. This brand is so good. It's so good. They take their time with their releases, which shows in their product, in their packaging, in their collections. It's just so, so good, you guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome collection, awesome brand. I love it. It's not that expensive. $41 for 12 shades and you're getting duochromes and iridescence all in one with these gorgeous match. You guys, seriously, it is so, so good. Really, really like them. The, the polishes, again, I love them as well. Check them out. I'll link them down in the description box. Throughout this video, I am hoping that Editing Alex had posted a bunch of looks that I've done throughout the whole entire time I've been using this eye uh, palette. I love them. Love every single look that I came out with. Not one did I feel like I was like, eh, about no. I love them all, love them all. And they were so good. They lasted all day on my eyes. We've been having weather where one day is like 75, the next day is 55, the next day is 30. You know what I mean? It's been, it's been crazy. So I've been able to test this eyeshadow palette throughout all the types of weathers and it's lasted. It has lasted. The way that it looks like when I put it on in the beginning is how it looks like at the end of the day, regardless of what I do, if I'm sweating, chilling, sitting down, or running around with my kids during some soccer games. It, it just is such a beautiful collection. I had to tell you guys about it because I really, really do like it. All of this was sent to me in PR, but even so, you guys, I would tell you if it's not. And I Gen I love the first collection and I love it. I am such a fan of this brand and I cannot wait to see where they go because I really, really do feel like this is a brand that's so underrated. It really should be known because you guys, it's so good. It's so, so nice. I love it. So let me know in the comment section if you have tried it out, what you think about it. I know some of my fellow content creators are loving this palette as well. It's, it's really, really good. I love it. I'll leave everything you need to know if I forgot anything down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll put my videos on the screen for your enjoyment. Until then, adios.